Welcome to our dimensional analysis tutorial. I'm Professor Migler and I'm just going to go over the dimensional analysis formula for figuring out med calculations. Now first I just want to say if you have a formula that works for you to figure out your doses of your medications then just keep doing that. Use what works for you. Dimensional analysis is very helpful for students who are having trouble with their dosage calculations, it helps you know which numbers go where in the formula. So basically dimensional analysis has a couple steps. If you follow these steps, you should have no problems figuring out your dosages. First thing that you need to know is you need to figure out from your problem what your answer needs to be as far as unit of measurement. If it's a liquid, millimeter, milliliters, if it's an oral med and it's tablets or capsules. That's the first step that you need to figure out. So let's say that we are going to do a liquid. We're going to give an injection. That would be in milliliters. So milliliters will go to the left of the equal sign. Okay? Then we need to draw a line. Now let's say that we need to figure out Lasix. The doctor has ordered 15 milligrams of Lasix. That's what is ordered. What is available in the cart is a concentration of 20 milligrams of Lasix in one milliliter of solution. So whatever is to the left of the equal sign, that is the unit of measurement you have to start with on top to the right. Okay? So if we look at the information we have, here is our milliliter. So one milliliter goes there. Now this line here means that this one milliliter is, let's say, married to the 20 milligrams. So the 20 milligrams comes with and goes on the bottom, okay? Now we need to continue. It basically turns into a setup of setting your numbers up so that you can cross out or the likes. So milligrams is here. So milligrams goes on the top. So if we look at our problem, we need to find the other milligram measurement, which is 15. Okay, so now we need to figure out, do we have all of the information we need or do we need to keep going? So I start crossing out likes. Milligrams, milligrams. This leaves me with milliliters, which is what I'm looking for, so I'm done. So then, Fifteen over twenty. And let me get my calculator. So we do the math. Fifteen divided by twenty equals zero point seven five milliliters. It is kind of hard to draw up to the hundredth in a syringe, so we will round that to the tenth. And our answer is 0 0.8 milliliters of solution we're going to draw up of our Lasix and give that by injection. Okay, that is the basic formula. The important thing to remember is First, you have to know what your answer, the unit of measurement your answer needs to be. Is it milliliters or tablets or capsules, or if it's an IV, milliliters per hour. 
The other important thing that sets up the whole formula is this. Whatever unit of measurement you have here, that is what you have to start with here. And then you bring in the important information from your problem. And if you just follow that, you basically can't go wrong, okay? So let's try a different problem. Okay, doctor has Doctor has ordered heparin, 2,000 units. It is available to us in a vial, a solution of 5,000 units per one milliliter. Whenever there isn't a number in front of the milliliters, of course, that means that there's only one. So it is a solution. The medication is in, we're going to draw it up in milliliters, so that is what we are looking for as our answer. So that's what goes to the left of the equal sign. Now remember what is over here, that's what we have to start with. So if we look for our milliliters, we have one milliliter. The one milliliter is married to the 5,000 units. Unit that's down here is the unit that comes over here on top so that they cancel out. Doctor ordered heparin, 2,000 units. Are we done? Let's start canceling out. We're left with milliliter, which is what we're looking for so we can do our math. When you do your math, especially as the formulas get longer, always do the math across the top. So we have 2,000, do the math across the bottom, and then divide. If you divide each individual section and then do the multiplication, sometimes your answer can be off enough so that it is wrong. Okay. Two thousand divided by five thousand equals zero point four. So we are going to draw up zero point four milliliters in our syringe. That is your answer. It's also important a little tidbit for your test. When you do math, always make sure that you include the unit of measurement with your answer. If you do not, and you only put 0 0.4, your instructor may count that wrong. Also, if it's a decimal, 0.4, always make sure that you put a zero before the decimal. If you don't put the zero, then sometimes that decimal does not get noticed, and they may think that you are going to draw up four milliliters. Okay? So now we're going to do a problem that is in tablets or capsules. So I'm going to write the order. So the doctor has ordered ibuprofen, 600 milligrams. What we have available to us is 
ibuprofen, 200 milligrams per tablet. So, we want to start our problem out, figure out what is our answer in units of measurement. We have tablets available to us. So, we are looking for tabs. So, tabs needs to start up here, and one tablet is equal to 200 milligrams. Milligrams, milligrams, go up to what our order is asking for, and it's asking for 600 milligrams. Cancel out, milligrams, milligrams, we're left with tabs. Tab is what our answer needs to be, so we're done. So 600 divided by 200 is 3. We're going to give 3 tablets. Okay? Now we're going to do one more problem. We're going to do a problem that involves a conversion from one measurement to another. So this is our order. The doctor has ordered Tigan 0 0.3 grams What we have available to us is 100 milligrams per milliliter. So we need to do a conversion between milligrams and grams. I always do my conversions in my dimensional analysis formula because that way it keeps me on track. I know that I have the correct numbers and they're where they need to be. So once again, what we have is in milliliters. So that's what our answer will be. So we need to start with milliliters. So we have one milliliter is married to 100 milligrams. Milligrams has to go on the top. Now our order is in grams, so we need to convert. So one 1,000 milligrams is equal to 1 gram. Grams on the bottom, gram on top. Look at our order, and it calls for 0 0.3. Start canceling out. See if you are finished, or do you need to keep going? We're left with milliliters. Milliliters is what our answer needs to be in, so we can do our math now. 1,000 times 0.3 equals 300. 100 times 1 is 100. 300 divided by 100 is 3. Don't forget the unit of measurement for your answer to be complete. Now, we wouldn't necessarily give three milliliters in one injection. This is just to show you how to do the math, okay? Also, the other thing to remember is when you get to the end, I do not have anything underneath the three grams. If it throws you off to have an empty space, you could just put a one because the 0.3 is one dose. But that is up to you as far as whether it bothers you to have nothing here or just put the one because technically the 0.3 is equal to one dose. Okay? So that's up to you. And then that is the dimensional analysis. That's the basic formula. 
You can use this formula for any dosage calculation, no matter how simple. If it's just something like an injection or tablets, you can use it for milliliters per hour for an IV. You would just depends on what you start with here. You can also, as you move on in the program, you can use this for your more complex titration formulas or calculations also.